In January, Cinesan published the exclusive screen story of the parlous condition of many koala bears in Quail Island Sanctuary, Victoria. The story attracted nationwide attention, and the authorities have finally acted. Hundreds of bears are being removed. The difficult job of moving them is undertaken by a team, under the expert guidance of Mr. Frederick Lewis, Chief Inspector of Game and Fisheries. The method is to use a long pole with a noose at one end. This is passed over the head and shoulders of the bear, and a sharp tug drops him, fireman fashion, into the tarpaulin. A safety lock knot prevents the noose becoming too tight round the animal's neck. Hundreds of bears have already been captured in this way, without injury to one of them. It's unwise to handle a koala when he's a little upset. You're backing into trouble, Billy. Is that so? Refugee from an overpopulated area. Well, they can't leave this bear behind. On the ground, the bears are individually weighed and the sex determined. He always thought he'd finish behind the bars. Between 20 and 30 bears a day are captured by this method. No time is wasted in getting the crated bears to their new home. Trentham is more than 100 miles from Quail Island, but here is a splendid forest, and the bear's favorite manna gum grows in profusion. It's happy days and plenty to eat for Billy and the missus from now on. A reception committee of Trentham schoolchildren welcomed the new arrivals. And there they go, like King's Cross tenants rushing for a flat. Look out, kids! Billy doesn't want to see a poem lovely as a tree. He'll settle for the tree. You please yourself, Pop. I'm getting out of here. Shake a leg. rock a -bye babies on the treetop. When the wind blows, the koalas won't drop. When the missus comes up, Papa will jump and come back to earth with a terrible thump. You see, it even happens to bears. It's a red letter day in koala circles. Six o'clock, gents. Better make it snappy, by gum. Well, that's that. What a day, what a day. And so to Manor Gums, peace and security, and the chance to raise a family in a decent way of life. That, after all, is the way it should be.